In the wake of AMD's recent decision to retire GCN's 1 to 3, there were a few less than sympathetic voices in the community. Your graphics card will still work, they told me. AMD secretly stopped supporting the old GCN cards two years ago, they said. What's there to be pissed off over? They asked. Well, <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. As of June 2021, AMD graphics cards from the HD 7000 series through to the 300 series have seen official driver support terminated. What this means for owners of these cards is conjecture at this point. Whatever the future holds, it's important to keep a level head here and now. It is disappointing, even a little infuriating, that AMD chose the middle of the scalper pandemic to take this action, but ranting about it doesn't answer questions. My first question was, will the affected graphics cards, many of them still perfectly capable, continue to work in new releases? Obviously, I can't predict the future, but I can look at how things have worked out in the past. I tested six games using their built-in benchmarks on two past GCN-based cards, an R9270 based on first-gen GCN and an R9380 based on third-gen, with drivers from the year of their launch. Using drivers from 2013, the R9270 was only able to run one of the tested titles, that being 2016's Rise of the Tomb Raider. Updating the driver set to 2015 enabled all three of the older titles, but 2018's Forza Horizon 4, 2019's Horizon Zero Dawn, and 2020's Watch Dogs Legion still failed to start. If driver support for GCN 1 had ended in 2015, an unlikely scenario as AMD was still making new products using that architecture at the time, but play along. If support had ended there, many of the games that launched after that date likely wouldn't have been compatible now. It wasn't until installing 2018 drivers that I managed to successfully launch all three newer titles, and the story is pretty much the same for the R9 380. The games released in 2016 or earlier all worked flawlessly on the 2015 drivers, but the later games did not. What's interesting here is that although all of the tested games from the last three years gave warning messages to let me know my drivers were out of date, they all managed to boot up regardless. I'm not savvy enough about the internal workings of games to know why exactly that is, but I know that first generation GCN cards won't be able to run games that absolutely require full DX12 compatibility, like Dirt 5 and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and that my tests can't account for a future where this DX12 requirement becomes more common. But the mere fact that 2020 games can run on 2018 drivers gives me a small amount of hope for the future. Now the second question, did AMD really silently end support two years ago? To answer this I decided to test the six games on both of the previous cards using drivers from 2018 and 2021 to see if there was a noticeable change in performance over time. For comparison, I also included benchmarks from an RX 460, a GCN 4 car that is still supported by AMD in 2021. In the three oldest titles, the R9270 gains less than 5% average FPS between 2018 and 2021. Among the newer titles, Watch Dogs Legion gains 5%, Horizon Zero Dawn gains a little under 10%, and Forza Horizon 4 has a rather freakish increase of 80%. The R9 380 gains virtually nothing in the older games except for GTA 5, which I did retest multiple times to be certain. The newer games show no real improvement, with Watch Dogs Legion proving to actually lose a small amount of performance moving from 2018 to 2021 drivers. By contrast, while the RX 460 doesn't see much improvement in the first three titles, the newer ones see more substantial changes. Forza gains about 15%, Horizon Zero Dawn over 10%, and Watch Dogs, well, that game only gains 2 FPS, but it is the newest of the three. It would seem then that the test mostly bears the commenter out. Though subtle, there is a noticeable improvement over time in the new GPU that is less visible in the older ones, especially among newer titles. 
At least on a driver level, it seems the earlier GCN cards haven't so much improved as stagnated in the last few years, aging less like a fine wine and more like Paul Rudd. The termination of driver support for GCNs 1-3 to then isn't likely to see these old cards miss out on some incredible performance boosts on current titles. New titles, we can hope, will at least work. However, as we saw in Forza Horizon 4, there have been occasions where updated drivers have made the difference between a game being playable and not. The truly concerning thing is that these cards are now living on borrowed time solely because of this seemingly arbitrary decision to end driver support. While GCN 1 cards lack full DX12 feature sets, GCN 2 and 3 actually don't. They can run games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla without issue, and there's no reason to think they'll have any strict hardware limitations for a while. Yet, it looks like, one day, owners of those cards will come across a new release that won't run because, after a period of unprecedented growth in the company's fortunes, they needed to cut back on a few legacy projects. If you recently invested in an R9 290, 380 or other great value card as a stopgap to carry you through the scalper pandemic, you were probably already thinking about your exit strategy from GCN. However, if you weren't planning on upgrading soon, if you bought an older GCN card just for its great price to performance, possibly as a result of someone on YouTube recommending one, I'm afraid future game compatibility is no longer guaranteed. And if you spent a serious amount of money on an R9 Nano or Fury just a few short years ago, based on AMD's reputation for aging like a fine wine, I think you have every right to feel very pissed off. It may be too much to ask that you found this video entertaining, but I at least hope you got something out of it. I've got dedicated Tales from the Scalper Pandemic lined up for the cards featured today, so keep an eye out on the channel for those videos in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching, kindly do the usual YouTube things if you feel so inclined, and I'll see you next time.